everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings I do want to apologize for not being able to upload a little bit sooner I've been extremely bombarded with work uh, doing a lot of uh, spell casting rituals and rites for clients um, so I do want to mention for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations now is the time to uh, schedule those appointments um, as we are approaching uh, the end of the year and the last three four to three months are extremely busy for me and uh, I believe this year is going to be a little bit more busy here as I'm already experiencing that now um, so I can promise you guys availability for the last two months of the year again like I said so if you guys are trying to get consultations get that in now um, so you guys can have that reserved uh, so anyways uh, let's move on I do want to mention um, for each zodiac sign for the month of September I did channeling with my spirit guides to get to give you guys the messages that are specifically pertaining to your signs uh, so before I get into this reading I'm going to be giving you guys um, the messages that were related to me through spirit guides okay so this is going to be for the Sun moon and rising of uh, Virgos so uh, Virgos for the month of September 2017 um, health is going to be very important for you guys you need to watch that now is the time to go to the doctor to check yourself to make sure everything's functioning the way it's supposed to. Try not to fall in the lazy mode or in the overdoing workload type of mode. Uh, what that represents is balance is needed. Uh, very important for you guys for the month of September. Again, um, try the best you can not to be so analytical. I know that that comes very natural to your nature. But overstressing and overanalyzing is really, really um and putting your mind and your brain in overdrive so try the best you can to release that tension release the doubts and fears and allow the universe to process and to actually give you or bring to you opportunities uh, instead of stressing over it okay because it makes you it puts you in a situation where you feel completely helpless and that's not a good thing um, also if you guys are uh, you notice that you guys are not as energized or as uh, motivated self-motivated to make things happen for yourself try the best you can uh, to meditate try to integrate that in your daily routine 10 uh, to 15 minutes every day is going to help you release that tension and actually recharge your batteries so uh, try to integrate that again like I said in your month uh, in your daily routine um, also for those of you guys that uh, do take medication try the best you can again balance is very important it seems like some of you guys are relying on pills are relying on medication um, you know if you're needing that an, an example for high blood pressure uh, or, or something like that it is needed but try the best you can to also change your diet or watch your diet uh, because in doing so you're going to uh, better um, create your health a, a little bit stronger and also assist you or help you um, to kind of stay away from medications or anything that has to do with you know antibiotics and anything like that it seems to me like when I was told that message you guys are relying too much on medication so if you guys you know constantly have headaches um, and you guys are you know quick to get aspirin or whatever um, you're kind of uh, in making your body immune to that and that's the reason why it no longer has an effect so it's more constant and again it's going back to the same thing that has to do with your health what you're eating uh, also being able to maintain yourself hydrated that's very important um, for the some of you guys you guys are going to be going through a new phase uh, when it comes to relationships there's new relationships that are going to be started for you guys and some ending as well try the best you can to let go of the feeling of having to be in control at all times um, sometimes we have to kind of step back and allow universe to step forward and make or break or bring things to us um, you know when you're so close to a situation or when you're over analyzing or over stressing about certain situations you're not allowing energy to flow naturally so what you're doing is you're creating resistance remember always uh, the path to least resistance okay so let's get into your reading and see what the cards have for you guys let's see what the cards have for Virgos for the month of September 2017 what are the messages for Virgos for the month of September 2017 Adivinando desde el futuro, voy adivinando hacia el pasado. Constantemente me sabes una hoja para ver el más allá. 
trabajar llenando desde el pasado, voy a ir llenando hacia el futuro constantemente, mis seres van a la facultad para ver el más allá. Okay, this is going to be my last shuffle. All right, let's get into your reading, Virgos. All right, so for your first card, you have the King of Wands, Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, Queen of Swords, Five of Wands, Judgment card, Page of Wands, Seven of Swords, King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Magician card. Okay, general energies for the month, Ace of Pentacles. So again, it correlates with the messages that were given to me by Spirit. Uh, you guys are going through a transition right now. There's new beginnings. Um, please note that it is a full moon tonight. So there's ending cycles. Again, we talked about ending relationships and the beginning of new ones or create uh creation of new beginnings uh, this ace is definitely a promise for new beginnings uh, something that's going to start off a little bit slowly but definitely um, it's a practical it's a practicality it, it is the material sense so what that means is the first steps towards a new relationship um, a new connection or even um, in regards to business and finances new opportunities coming in that you've been expecting for quite a while and again it will manifest for the month of September I feel that for some of you guys it's going to happen on the third week of September you guys are going to start to see things happen or new opportunities come into your life okay so let's get into your reading so you're starting off the month with the king of wands you're definitely connecting with a fire sign a uh, fire sign would be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. doesn't have to be their moon, sun, or rising. It could just be the attributes of a uh, king of wands. It could be both male or female. This is a person that is a go-getter, someone that is very determined, very passionate, very intense. Uh, it could be a representation of your partner, or it can also represent the person that is being surround or surrounding you at the present time. Now, you do have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is getting to a point of um, if you are with this person, if you have been with this person, um, and this is your current partner, you guys have been struggling a lot. You have two nines, so there is a need for releasing because you're one step from the ten, which is endings. So again, you might be debating whether you should walk away from this relationship or whether you should continue on being in this relationship although the nine of wands definitely talks about one either you or your partner are not willing to deal with it anymore or you're, you're kind of just giving up you're not really wanting to continue fighting as I'm getting the energy of the nine of wands in um, in reverse so again w someone's giving up uh, the nine of pentacles is definitely talking about singlehood so again there is a need to release um, if you're too obsessive over your partner or if you're becoming almost in the dark side like um, what's the word um, over possessive over possessiveness um, jealousy etc it's like someone in this relationship whether it's you or your partner is definitely considering being single again you have the Sun card right here and this is in the near future position all these right here in the bottom so this is talking about new blessings coming for you or coming towards you but the the, the main focus here is definitely learn from your mistakes okay learn from the past you do have the page of wands here so there's communication or a message coming in with regards to either relationships or with regards to business and it's going to be in a positive aspect as the Sun is crowning this page and the magician under it is um, definitely amplifying that type of energy so it's a positive message coming through again for those of you guys who have been um, without a job for quite a while it could be an opportunity for an interview or an opportunity for actually starting on or ha being hired on by a company so there's again like I said the new beginning here now you do have the Queen of Swords here and the Queen of Swords is an air sign so it would be an Aquarius uh, sorry an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and it's right under the King of Wands these are in the past and passing positions so it could be that th the King of Wands is definitely a very passionate very intense individual and the Queen of Swords is totally the opposite of that. The Queen of Swords is a very analytical person. Um, it, even though it is an air sign, I feel that it, it it speaks about the Virgo energy when it comes to females. Sometimes you guys can be a, a little bit 
um, what's the word? Your shadow side could be a little bit, um, what's the word? Um, could be a little bit spiteful, uh, could be a little bit stalkerish, uh, possessive, um, very cutthroat, very cold, standoffish. So I feel that there's a disconnect here with your partner. If in fact this is this fire sign is your partner at the present time, again, there's a discord and there's a disconnect, but I feel that there is good grounds for that. There is not clarity here and there's definitely some sneaky behavior or even cheating um, uh, surrounding your relationship at the present time as you do have the seven of swords. Seven of swords is definitely talking about uh, sneaky behavior, um, cheating, betrayal, deceit. Um, and again, with the nine of wands in the reverse is the energy I'm getting. It's definitely talking about someone's giving up or someone's not willing to put effort in the relationship no longer. Now, the five of wands here definitely talks about uh, people giving you the attention or wanting to get your attention, but it's like you're very oblivious to it. Uh, you have the king of swords here and the king of swords is another air sign. So it would be a Gemini, Aquarius, Aquarius or Libra. Uh, this could be both male or female. It doesn't have to be a male. It is a general reading. So I do see two kings here for you and I do see one queen. So what this is telling me is that there's a lot of people uh, surrounding your relationship or surrounding your business. Um, for those of you guys that in the past were very well off when it comes to your business, if you guys own your own business, for some reason in the present position, uh, there's a lot of like you're so much in your head and overstressing when it comes to business and finances and it has to do with an inner struggle that's going on within yourself uh, either doubting yourself or not wanting to let go of something that's not working for you guys you do have the judgment card here and the judgment card is basically having to make a choice uh, judgment does talk about the past but I feel that in this position in the present uh, next to the five of wands there's definitely a need for you to go within yourself and to try to come to terms um, because there is definitely an ending that's needed to happen, whether it's in your uh, in your business or whether it's the people that you work with. Um, you guys have to come to terms and, and, you know, if some people are just not working in your business or helping you grow, then it's time to let them go. Uh, again, like I said, the, the page of wands here is definitely talking about messages coming through for you in a positive aspect. Again, the seven of swords definitely talks about sneaky behavior and the sneaky behavior could be coming from this king of swords. So again, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, uh, this person is um, very blunt, but can also be a deceiving. Okay. And because the seven is right next to it, it's definitely a person uh, that portrays to be a certain type but there's deceit and there's lies behind this. And I feel that this person is very close to your home. So it could be a relative. It could be a person, a friend that you would consider as a friend and is actually giving you advice in regards to your relationship. But in reality, what they're wanting is to create chaos or to create plant seeds of, uh, plant seeds of doubt uh, in you uh, in regards to your partner. Now, I do feel that for some of you guys that are willing to walk away from this relationship, it's definitely going to affect the family. So again, some of you guys may have children with this partner that perhaps in the past cheated on you uh, and you're having difficulty being able to let go of that and move forward. But the 10 of pentacles and the magician card, it could be a representation of you going to someone. So it'd be someone that you go to in regards to like someone that practices my craft, uh, someone that you know, could be represented as a high priestess as well as the magician is the creator, the alchemist, uh, you reaching out to them and them being able to come in and assist you in materializing or bringing abundance towards you. Uh, for some of you guys, um, again, with these, with these energies right next to each other, um, because it is swords, it's definitely talking about blockages and there, there has been uh, blockages that have been created because of other people. So it could be envy, it could be people surrounding you um, that are just jealous of whatever it seems that you're showing, even though they don't know that you're genu genuinely struggling or going through difficulties, they see it as you're well off and you're doing great. Um, and there's a lot of spiteful people surrounding you. So try the best you can not to tell, uh, not to easily tell everyone your situation or your issues because I feel that they're using that against you. Now, there may be a loss for some of you guys um, when it comes to a business. If you own your own business, try the best you can to watch out for this King of Swords, okay? Because this King of Swords is definitely out to get some type of money uh, compensation or even getting to the point of stealing money from you guys. So try the best you can to watch out for that as well. 
Now, again, like I said, uh, for those of you currently that are single, there's definitely a new beginning here. And you may be dealing with a Leo because this is in the near future position. The sun does represent the Leo. Um, and again, this person is someone that's going to be reaching out to you or coming in. Perhaps you even meet them to, uh, through social media. And the Magician card is uh, definitely talking about your desire, your want for creating or bringing into your life love. So again, try the best you can to keep um, your doubts, you know, in check. Balance yourself and balance your energies. And what that means is basically stop thinking very quickly that every person you're, you meet is going to do you the way everyone else has, okay? That's negative talk, negative self-talk, and that's something you do not need to be doing. So try the best you can to ground yourself. And again, like I said, I highly encourage you guys to check your health, go to the doctor, make sure everything's going good, and try the best you can to uh, integrate meditation in your life so you guys can release all that tension and stress you guys have been going through. Okay? So I wish you guys the very best. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe, and we'll see from each other at the middle of the month for the love readings. Thank you. Bye.